all right guys hazing here welcome back to the channel for another street fighter duel video so if you go back about a week ago maybe a week and a half ago um one of the videos i put out was talking about the fact that they had added trendy cami into the exchange shop for the divination event so that would be rose's tarot event as we kind of know it and um, I, I said back then that what i would expect to happen is that is probably the sign of rotation moving forward and i wouldn't be surprised if we were to see trendy cami um, being in the like street art exchange boxes and stuff like that going forward okay so obviously we now know that that did happen right so if we go to street art we can obviously see that trendy cami is now in here okay so this truly makes me believe that what we will next see is we will next see vega taking the slot of jury in the boxes and things like that okay so in the divination exchange event for example probably won't get jury next time it'll probably be vega and then the next time this comes back it'll probably be vega as well so what i would say first of all is if you are someone who is yet to finish off jury and you want to get her done then i would probably take her from this box just now because there is more than likely going to be an inevitability that they're going to rotate her out of here okay now what i want to discuss in this video is Based on other games and stuff like that, I feel like there might actually be a chance that we are going to see some rotation happening here. Um, the, I mean, it's been four months, right? If they do rotate this, it means that three times a year they will be able to change the units that are going to appear in these shops, right? Now, if that was to happen, you would probably look at Trendy Cami being added into here because she's a master character the other master characters have been replaced in the other events if they're going to do a jury i think it would probably be another month before it would happen but you might see jury getting replaced here with a copy of vega for example and um, then probably about four months later three four months later you might see vega being replaced by Sagat because they'll do it in order right that's that's how they're going to work these things especially if they're going to keep it fresh and mix things up the other option is they add a second character to this, which is probably preferable, to be honest, especially for these kind of things that take you a while to save up and stuff like that. Um, but with relation to like exchange shops, so in events and in your boxes and trade-in boxes and all that kind of stuff, um, I feel like what we're going to do is we are going to work on this rotation of probably looking at about, what, four months? So when trendy cami has been available for say free exchange events and free of the street art events you'll probably find that athlete chung lee is going to take her spot that's kind of how they're probably going to work the rotation on this and um, just whether or not the sweet spot is going to be three or four months we're going to probably have to wait and see um, so what i would say is just as a sort of a precautionary measure if you are someone who wants to get jury done I think you're probably better off taking her from this box and maybe just to be safe, making sure you get your trade in done to get a copy of from here. Now, if you've got her maxed, that's good. I would maybe hold on to your tokens here because if you hold on to your tokens and they do rotate this out and they do add in Vega here, for example, then you're going to be good to go and you're going to be able to get them straight away. I mean, that's the position I'm in. I'm basically, well, actually, I tell a lie, I've not finished Jury yet, actually. Um, if I go and look, you will be able to see that if I go to ba -ba 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 -ba, Fighters, what have I got Jury at, actually? See, I've only got Jury at plus three, right? I do have another copy of her, I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly sure. Yeah. So, if I do that, I need basically three more Juries to, to max her out, right? Um, but at the same time, I really personally want to work on Vega because I was forward planning, I'll say, and I had put Vega into my wish list. He's no longer in my wish list, but I had put Vega into my wish list. Um, I also put my Akuma into my wish list because you get the cars, you know. I was only one copy away. Well, at that point, I was two copies away from getting Akuma done. I'm like seven copies from getting Vega done. And um, this happened. It gave me all of Vega's cars. <laughs> it gave me all of Vega's cars, and, and eventually I got three of Akuma's cars. Um, so with boxes and stuff, I'll have Kuma ready to go, right? But I'm nowhere near having Vega ready for cars, but I've got all the cars for Vega. 
the game just like absolutely trolled me on that one. Um, I do have a little suspicion. You guys can test it out if you want. I find that if there's a character I know I'm going to max, right? So let's just say I know that when I'm finished with Evil Ryu or Ryu, I'm going to switch my attention over to Vega and Divination, right? So I know eventually I'll get cars for Vega, right? So I put them in my wish list. The game seems to front load vehicles. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's just pure coincidence, right? But if I've got a unit in my wish list that is, for example, I mean, we'll Sagat, right? See if I took him out and put Sagat in there. I'm telling you, I would get loads of SSS vehicles for Sagat. I think the game just seems to prioritize giving you units that you might not be ready for vehicles on yet. So you can kind of play that to your advantage if you know that you're going to be putting investment in and eventually getting a specific unit, like you're not going to give up until they're SSS. If you put them on your wish list early for vehicles, you might do what happened with me and that is pull all the vehicles for Vega. Now, again, it's totally anecdotal, but when it came to me, for example, this is the situation I was looking at. I was looking at Vega was gold, Akuma was red, and it gave me so many of the vehicles for Vega before it even contemplated giving me. I had five of the Vega vehicles before it gave me even one Akuma vehicle, right? It could be pure coincidence. It, it really could, right? But it's working for me. So all I'm saying, guys, is if you are considering definitely taking a certain unit up, you're not going to give up on them. They're going to be your main focus in Divination. Um, not Divination. Oh, yeah, Divination. Um, if you're not going to give up on them until you get them SSS, then put them into your wish list early and you might find that you start getting those vehicles more readily than you do actual units that you could use the vehicle for right away. It's worth trying. Like I say, it works for me. Um, but back to the actual point of the video. So I think we are going to see that. I think the next probable big change, I'm trying to think what event it would be. Divinations 1. What else do you get to do a trade in? I think it is just the divination event and the street art event, isn't it? It's the only one that really gives you like free copies of units. So I think we're probably looking at very soon, um, probably the next time it's back, I think we're going to see Vega in the place of Jury. There's a chance, however, maybe it's not definite. I think we'll probably see either units being added to the city shop or rotated out of the city shop and the other shops to keep things feeling a little bit fresh. So if you have units like Rose and Jury who you want to max out and you're not done with yet, my opinion is take them just now while you have the chance because I've got a funny feeling they're just going to rotate them out of everything, which is good for freshness, but not if you've been slowly building up to getting these units done, you know. Um, so that's all I'm saying, guys. Just make sure your focus is in the right area. I think they're probably going to rotate these units out um, of everything, which again, in some ways, I think it's good because it keeps it fresh, but not if you're someone who's been working your ass off to get a maxed out copy of Jury or Rose and you're maybe one away from SSS. Just make sure you use your availability to these units right now wisely and you get them while you've got the chance that's it just a psa just telling you what i think is going to happen and um, again if you go back and you watch the video when cami was added to the divination store i did say then that i thought that this would happen with the street art box and the fact that it's now happened makes me really think that next up we're going to see the infernal unit change and it will be obviously vega that it changes to anyway guys that's it from me um Hit me in the comments. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Uh...